Hi, this is Adam Justice from Connect Sense, and I'm coming to you from San Francisco, where Apple is having their Worldwide Developers Conference. And today, we're going to talk all about iOS 10, all of the HomeKit announcements, and Apple's new Home app. So there was some really exciting news Monday when in Apple's keynote they covered HomeKit for the first time since it was announced two years ago. They went into details about the new Home app as well as other HomeKit features that will be in iOS 10. Now let's dive in and check out that new Home app. Okay, we've got an iPod Touch here that's loaded up with Beta 1 of iOS 10. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and check out that new Home app. So you can see immediately here on the home app, um, there's a home screen which shows you um, what's currently going on with your devices up here, as well as um, some favorite scenes and favorite devices. So um, any accessories that you add, um, you have the option to add that as a favorite or not. And um, so you can see all the accessories that we have loaded up in here. Um, you can control these favorite accessories. So here's uh, one of our outlets right here, which you can turn on and off. Pretty cool. Either by tapping or using that cool switch thing. Uh, or you can also run scenes from here. So if I click on uh, I'm leaving or I'm home. And that's changing all our devices at once. Um, some other cool things from this screen, uh, easy changing of homes if you have multiple homes set up. Um, you can also really easily edit things, so they do that, uh, you know, the wiggle thing like you have in iOS commonly. Um, so then you can kind of flip things around, reorder them. Um, same thing with accessories. Flip them around here. Um, up in the corner here there's a plus so this is what you click on to add an accessory or add a scene um, some really easy scene creation here um, so I already did all the suggestions but sometimes there's suggested scenes here um, we can make a custom one we'll just call it test uh, and then you can say what accessories you want it to include here so we'll click on all of our stuff here all right, and then within this scene creation, you can sort of set the state. So say, uh, I want this to lock the door, close the garage, turn off the um, outlet, and set the thermostat to, you know, 67 degrees. Um, let's go there. The other thing um, I'll show you in the scenes, also when you're creating a scene, there's now an option to test a scene too. Um, here's also that show favorites, which is nice. Um, so if you want to test the scene, you can do that right from within the editing. Let's turn our light back on here. Oh, wrong one. Cool, so that's the home screen within the home app. Uh, next, we're going to go to room. So this is kind of how you break down your devices a little bit more. Um, so you still have scenes like you did in the last screen, um, but the menu up here in the corner is gonna allow you to switch between rooms. So like I have a garage, I've got a living room, and I also have the, uh, the foyer here. And uh, plus in this mode um, allows you to add an accessory or a scene as well. Um, rooms can be edited from in here, so room settings. So that's where you can kind of add more rooms and kind of things like that. And then lastly, we've got a tab here for automation. Um, not a lot here. Uh, like I said, this is beta one. Uh, so I assume something coming here down the line, um, you know, rules and, and automation. Um, but there is a little interesting fact in here. Um, they talk about the Apple TV um, being a essentially a gateway when you're away from home. 
And then right here at the bottom, it also says that an iPad that's always at home um, can also kind of act as a gateway to uh, connect you to your devices when you're away from home. So this is um, the Home app in iOS 10 Beta 1. One other feature in iOS 10 is the ability to control HomeKit accessories from Control Center. So you just swipe up here and here we have our favorite accessories and we can just click right there in the screen. So this is going to be a great easy way um, to control things quickly um, just by swiping up on your iPhone. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of the new Home app in iOS 10. Like and subscribe below so you can keep up to date as things change before release in the fall. And hit me up in the comments, what do you think about the new announcement and everything that was in the keynote about HomeKit? Thanks for watching.